Coaching is a really key part of the Frontline program because it really supports participants to move from year one to year two. The coaching offer is particularly focused in year two of the program when they are working across the local authority system, developing their leadership skill and helping them to sort of transition into a quite a different setting and context within which to become great social workers. The role of the leadership coach is to create a safe environment so that participants can come along and they can discuss openly and honestly any of the issues that are coming up for them as they go through their second year. So in my view, there is no such thing as a typical coaching session. It's completely tailored to each individual participant and what they will benefit from. Often we'll start with some reflection and that will often draw out some challenges that they're, they're facing and then we'll use the time in the coaching to really explore that. And then really importantly at the end, I'll ask them to reflect on what they've learned from that discussion, what they're taking away and how they can use that going forward. The thing I wish I knew before I started coaching was how important I found it to make sure I gave myself space and time to implement the things that I talked about with my coach. Coaching helps participants manage their academic work in year two, primarily because they have to do a piece of action research. They use the coaching as a space to think about that practice dilemma and in thinking about where, what are the origins of that, that dilemma, why does it present in this way and what are the implications both for my practice and for the families that I work with. Having my manager in the three-way meeting at the very beginning of my coaching was really helpful because it gave him a chance, I suppose, to balance the things that I was saying and the reflections that I'd had on my practice, um, particularly where I'd been quite critical of my practice, to have him say, well, actually, no, I feel that, you know, there are parts of your practice that you're doing really well that you're not noticing. What I most appreciated about the coaching sessions was a space that was separate from line management and separate from the day-to-day -day kind of realities of the job where I could really think about the professional difficulties I was having. I would really recommend, um, and what I started to do was to book them on days where I knew I had nothing else in, really try and protect that time and promote that time. I think in particularly challenging local authorities, coaching offers an invaluable space for participants to go and be honest about some of the difficulties that they've had. And I think what it does really is to not just listen, but to give them strategies and, and really give them a resource that they can draw on so that they can feel empowered to make things different for themselves and for the families that they work with. As a coach, I might look at someone having difficulty with parents shouting and feeling intimidated by that. Now, a manager might work on that in a, um, you know, look at what other people are doing. I would work on a what's happening inside that you can draw on as an anchor so that if you're in that situation, you can, uh, you can regularly draw upon it and it becomes part of how you do, do that successfully. I was given a couple of families where the previous social workers and other people had been complained about by the families. So in that instance, when I talked it through with my coach, we actually role-played how I would go into those first visits, which made me feel so much more confident and able to do that. And I actually developed some really positive relationships with those families. I really didn't expect coaching to have such a positive impact on my life or my career. But it really has, and that took me by surprise. So kind of, I think, go in with no expectations, but be prepared for it to have a bigger impact than you might think. I was almost putting coaching off because I was absolutely too busy. We need to turn the tables and prioritise coaching, as it's all about self-care, increasing your resilience, and taking that time to reflect, and truly giving the best to our families.